Michigan, there's like two distinct points, like the first Michigan game and the second. Um, what do you credit the six weeks between there and the steps you guys have taken to? You know, it was, a, it was a long six weeks in between there. And, and obviously the Michigan game is kind of, I think, our wake up call of when we really, you know, got back to kind of our identity of, of defending and, and rebounding. Um, and I thought that it really taught us a lesson. So even in between there, though, there were still some tight games and, and some hard, you know, hard losses and tough losses. But I think it got us back on track to more our identity and who we were. Um, and, and then obviously the other night, I thought it was the best 40 minutes we've played all year on, on both ends of the floor from from tip um, to the final buzzer. You know, we were locked in, we defended, we scored. Um, so we, we've come a, a long ways in, in, you know, that time period. And, and it looks like two completely different teams, really, from when I was watching the film of that to you know, to, to watching the film of our last game again. Sounds like Adalia really took that first one fairly personally and did a little trash talking <laughs> in practice. Uh, what would you see from her from like an energy standpoint to carry into that and just maybe the contagious effect? Her energy was unbelievable. I mean, from, from start to finish, that was the best I've, even in her time here, that was the best I've seen her play. Um, in terms of her defense and her, her winning every 50-50 ball, she was everywhere. Um, and then, you know, she, she scored. Um, but her defense and the energy, and it was just contagious. It's better. If she plays, and if she can play with that energy, I've said it multiple times, she's our X factor, and, and we're a completely different team. So it was just, it was really fun to watch her. Um, and, and yeah, we need that juice, we need that energy um, every game. What do you think led to keeping Michigan off the glass? Because I know that was a big mm -hmm. emphasis, and, and you didn't do it the first game, but I thought you actually out-rebounded them yeah. the offensive end the other night. Yeah, I was I was pretty adamant that, you know, I told the team multiple times in our prep with them is, is rebounding was number one. They do such a good job of, of rebounding and, and scoring off them and or getting kick-out three. So, um, you know, give our players all the credit. They, they, they It was number one key and they went out there and they executed it. And from one through five on the floor, we all rebounded. Everyone did their job of boxing out, finding bodies, um, and holding them to one and done. So then we were able to get out and play at the pace that we wanted to play at, with, which I think really set the tone for the entire game. Just kind of, you referenced the other day, but going into February, feeling like you're playing your best basketball. You know, do you have a conversation with your team about what's kind of ahead in this month, or what does that kind of look like for you? You know, it's really just been about day day by day uh, and even more so than last year where we were in a different position and you know you kind of knew that there's postseason there at this point last year um, but right now it's about staying locked into how can we be the best we can be today um, because literally every game matters for us and, and it always does but you can't get ahead of yourself like Every team in this conference is, is capable of beating you if you don't bring your best. Um, and obviously we got a big week coming up this week, so our focus is just on that. It's, it's you know, how can we prepare today for Purdue the best that we can possibly prepare. KB kind of references just rhythm, feeling like, you know, it took a little bit for this team to find its mm -hmm. rhythm. How, what's that progression kind of look like for you going into this season? You feel like, when do you maybe feel like that rhythm's kind of come together for this team? Yeah, I think in the last probably like month, uh, I feel like we're starting to get really comfortable. And I think you saw that even in our last few games and especially at Michigan, uh, just starting to play really well together, um, everyone, you know, and, and you know, obviously Hobby's progressing and, and getting really comfortable. And I think KB and Hobby are starting to really feed off each other and play really well together. And some of that stuff takes time. Um, so, and then you threw in, you know, early in the season injuries and, and some other things like, I think it's just taken us a little bit longer than you know we all would have liked. Uh, but like I said, if you can play your, you know, start feeling that rhythm and coming together in, in February, then then we'll take it. And I think we've just learned so much this year. You know, we've been through so many tough times and, and challenging times um, that it's really brought us closer together and, and, and learned a lot of valuable lessons. What's been the impact? Is it like screaming in the starting lineup? Is she somebody who rides better than that? What's been her impact since kind of being inserted there? I just think a lot of this, I think, just takes time, especially with transfers. Um, you know, you want it all to click right away, but it takes time to understand and, and again, get in the rhythm, get an understanding. Um, you know, early on, for me, it was more defensive uh, with her. And, and now she's defending at a high, high level. She, she knows my expectations, our expectations, handling ball screens. I mean, she, she's 
done an unbelievable job of that and how she's moving right now is you know a lot better than even two months ago so um, you know but credit her she's worked she's continued uh, to put the time in she's in here nonstop. Um, you know getting workouts in getting extra work in watching film uh, and now you know you're kind of seeing all of that that we knew when we brought her here we knew this is what she was capable of and and, and now she's playing just so so well and we need her to continue to do that. So I think a lot of it's just time and experience. When you're helping someone who has four years of experience at a totally different place, yeah. like what's important for you guys as a coaching staff to understand and help her understand this progression of comfort and, and it can't just be a light switch? Well, that's the hard part, right? I think because she wants, you know, and we want it. We both want the same thing. We want it to happen like that, um, you know, and, and she's used to doing things a certain way. and you know, defensively, often everything, I mean, from top to bottom. So I think it just takes some patience and, and sometimes, you know, neither of us want to be that patient with it, but, um, you know, we conversations and, and, you know, always she's telling me what she thinks. I tell her what I think and, and, you know, whether we agree or not on those things, right? Like we all want the same thing. And, and again, I give her all the credit of, of continuing to work and, and, and trust the process, which is really hard at times. For, for again players and, and and coaches as well but again we're seeing kind of the the, the you know the benefits of all of that work and, and some of the frustrations early on um, now you know she's doing what again I knew she could do all along and what she knew she could do all along with the keys against Purdue you know transition first they they really want to score in that first eight seconds um, so they do a really good job of that and they're similar to really the last two teams we played where they have an inside player but then they have really good shooters uh, on the perimeter so we got to be able to defend the three-point line which we did a really good job at at michigan um, so i think the progression of playing minnesota michigan and now purdue a lot of similarities um, which will hopefully you know help us in our defensive game plan um, at purdue um, and then they they just play so well at home, you know. It's like the men; they they have a great environment. It's a great, you know, Mackey Arena gets loud. They they have great crowds, and they're playing. I mean, it's night and day difference of how they shoot, how they play, you know, in Mackey as opposed to on the road. So we know this is going to be a really tough test. Do, do, are they schematically different too when they're at home, or is it just they're come more comfortable? I, I just shots? I think it's confidence, and, yeah. and you know they're doing you know similar stuff. They're just making shots yeah. there, and and just have that. You know, the comfort of home mm -hmm. so we got to go like at Michigan it's going to be really important for us to come out and win that first battle which we we won we are up 10 um, in the first five minute battle at Michigan and if we you know that's going to be really key I think especially when you're on the road to, yeah. to come out strong what's it like as a coach to kind of watch Gretchen thrive in, in this new role that she's been asked to do maybe just because of Jada's injury yeah. and for no other reason you know, she, the thing is, I knew she was fully capable, and I, and I, I think I told you guys this, I knew I was, I'm like, I got to get her more minutes, I got to get her more minutes, um, just because I know at any time, I just feel like she can go off. Like, I feel like, and she's missing some of those threes right now, and like, I feel like every time she shoots it, it's going in. Uh, so to see her just get more confident and, and, and you know, kind of having to go through something, but she's not making a ton of mistakes. That's the thing. Like as a freshman being out there, big games, playing 20 some minutes a game, she's really not making a ton of mistakes, which is awesome to see. And, you know, it is, it's fun as a coach to, to see someone that you had high expectations for, knew what she's capable of recruiting her and now being able to come out as a freshman and get to showcase some of that, just what great experience for her, you know, for her career going forward. Um, this is really, really good experience. And, Shoot, she's having to guard. She's having to guard some of the best players these past few games, and, and she's done a pretty good job of it um, in the league and in the country. Yeah, it like we spent so many months talking about Kendall's ability to step out and shoot. She looks really, really comfortable. Yeah. Like, what's that a credit to, and what's that mean for you guys when she's just effortlessly hit so? It, it's been huge. I think it's the biggest game changer for us, and, and she's always she's been capable. Of that I just think again, it's she's in a flow. She has a lot of confidence in her shot right now. Her and Hobby both they don't hesitate. If they're open, it's going up, and, and I'm I'm great with it because I feel like they're going. It's going in every time. Um, so now you have two post players that are able to score down low, but also hit you know 15 to 17 foot jumpers. Um, that makes it really hard for the for the defense and, and for scouting. So just hope they continue to take them um, because you know we all have great confidence, and I think they have great confidence in themselves right now. You just kind of reference 
you know earlier about Daly's personality. That, you know, yeah. what does that kind of do for the team? Just that energy that she brings, and maybe have your is that something your better Dayton teams also had a player like that that could make that kind of impact? Yeah, I think every great team needs a player like that and a player or two like that, and and you know. It's just when she's like that, and sometimes, you know, she, she kind of goes up and down. But against Michigan, it was all out 40 minutes, the best version of Adalia that you can get. And when, when she does that, we're really, really good. It just spreads. You know, when someone's flying around, you know, diving, skying up for rebounds, playing just incredible defense, our other, you know, our other players feed off that. And, and we know it. We see it in practice. We shoot, see what she's capable of. She had a really great day uh, of prep and practice the day before with high energy. So it's about with her and what we talked about last year a lot is consistently doing that and sustaining that energy level, which is not easy to do. But if she does that and when she makes a choice to do that, you know, she's an elite player and, and we're, a, we're a hell of a lot better team. So, uh, knowing Barry like you do and that whole big family, like her getting McDonald's All American, I know it, you were you thought she was great no matter what. Yeah. But was that important? You get a sense that was important to her and what that means for her going forward. You know, she she's so humble and and just so even keel. Like I don't think that she even thought that you know she was <laughs> gonna get that. But um, I know it was important for to her. I mean, anyone. That's such a great honor. It's so hard to get. Um, you're talking about everyone in the country to be, you know, a select few. Um, so I'm just so happy for her because just how she is being so humble, you know, and not wanting kind of the spotlight in a lot of those things and knowing her work ethic and all the time she's put into it. Uh, it just couldn't have happened to a better person and, and so happy and, and excited that, you know, she's part of our family and, and can't wait to get her here and, and just super proud of her. And, and like I said, happy for her and her whole family. What's that mean for you guys to have mentioned and associated yeah. in that game? I think it's, you know, it's it's really important to be honest and I think you, when you're looking at recruiting and, and winning some of these recruiting battles that, you know, only being here, you know, not even two years yet, to, to win some of the battles with some other, you know, elite programs that, you know, we're competing with and now to win one of them, you know, it's it says that we're going in the right direction. Now we need to continue to recruit at that level and, and win some of those other battles, but um, I think Barry kind of sets the tone of, hey, like, you know, we believe in Illinois, we believe in what they're doing, and I had options to go anywhere really in the country, and I decided to come here, and we need more people like her to, to believe that and, and, and want to join that, um, you know, and, and kind of build, like I've been saying, build your own legacy and, and start something that, you know, hasn't been done uh, ever. So I think that, you know, hopefully she's the first uh, of many in, in our time here.